Welcome, Illumineers. I'm your host, Rush, here to help you explore the news, meta, and more of the realm of Lorcana. Let's get into it. All right, Illumineers, today we're taking a look at Amber Ruby. Uh, the deck comes in at $477.64. It is the third time I am making this intro uh, because I forgot to record the first two times because I am apparently just being challenged today. Um, pretty good deck. I really like it. It was designed to kind of go up against Amber, uh, or sorry, Amethyst Ruby. Um, so let's get into the deck itself. Uh, it is running two of Early Stitch. This is basically to help provoke out removal, since we're not running Rockstar Stitch or a Shiftable Stitch. Um, four of Copies Le Faux, uh, which much like Shield we'll see later, is basically to help make your characters challenge multiple times in a turn. Four of Aerials to help you sing and search out songs in the deck, which is excellent for things like Be Prepared. Um, three, or sorry, four of Three Drop Aladdin um, to help you shift into late game Aladdin. Um, we're running three copies of Hades um, to help um, grab removed characters or a whole new world um, characters that have been discarded out of your discard and put them back into your hand. Um, we're running four of the four drop Rapunzel to help give us some additional card draw and remove some damage counters after we challenge. Um, four of Maximus to help protect our characters that have been challenged, things like Aladdins or Maui's that have damage on them that we don't want uh, our opponents challenging into with uh, one or two drops to take them out. Four of Maui's because it is removal on a character um, and it's just amazing. Um, an uncommon one here is seven drop stitch. Um, this allows us to get a couple of other uh, cards out in, into our hands um, later in the game, which is great against control. Um, drop this after drawing two, a couple low drops, you get a couple more cards and a lot of times your opponent's forced to board wipe you um, in the control amethyst ruby uh, matchup. Um, four of Aladdin's, um, just because Aladdin is amazing and this deck is designed about challenging to the win. Um, for its removal, so excellent option there. Um, only two of Maleficence because we don't quite often get to this late game because we're not turbo or hyper control. Um, it wouldn't be the worst thing, but I just couldn't find the slots for it. Honestly, if I was going to remove anything, it'd be the two drop stitch. But I've seen so much removal wasted on this this um, two of one drop stitch that <laughs> I really don't want to get rid of it. Uh, the amount of times I see Mother's Nose Best smashes, um, I've I've seen it grab your swords played to get rid of him so that they don't get you don't get the turn um, the shift. Um, then we'll go into actions. Uh, we have four of Dragon's Fire, very straightforward in pretty much every Ruby deck. Uh, four of be our guest, just basically to help you search out some of the options you need because our card draw is limited. Um, Part of our world, again, just like Hades, it's there to pull cards out of your discard to help uh, make sure you're keeping the pressure on um, with those high drops. Um, three, be prepared, because four is just a little too much. It's not hyper control. We're not trying to board wipe the world and 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 win that way. Um, this matchup does press a little bit more like aggro into control, but if you get board wiped and then they play out their characters, it allows you to do the same to keep the momentum neutral. Um, or in your favor. Um, we are running two of shields because shields allows us to double challenge into their characters, especially with things like Aladdin and our recursion of Aladdin um, is really, really good. Um, four of lanterns to act as early game ramp and um, potential to allow you to do multiple things in the same turn. And then we're going into two swords, which is kind of an uncommon one, uh, allows us to basically get rid of those late game threats like Maleficence and Ursula's, which um, are pretty scary in the format right now. Um, I think this card is slept on and a lot more people should be running it. All right, well, let's get into the gameplay. Let's see here. So we're going first. We're gonna get rid of the dragon fire and the Maui and the Stitch and the Maximus. We gotta confirm we're gonna get a, a decent early game. Yeah. So be our guest into a stitch. 
So one of the reasons I run Stitch is kind of a funny reason. It's mainly to bait out the kills for the shift. Um, this card has a lot of things thrown into it so that people don't think you're going against Rockstar or people don't think you're shifting into Rockstar with it. So just one's facts. Uh, it's really early for you. I do want you next turn. So yeah, we'll do that. Into a lantern. We're playing against Sapphire. Um, fortunately, I don't have another one drop. We'll pass. I didn't see his other color if he did. But based on what I'm looking at, I'm assuming steel. Oh, emerald. How would you run this in emerald? Oh, we'll see. Alright, Rapunzel. We are just going to ink Rapunzel, which is unfortunate. This will give us effectively four. Play this Loki one. Drop him by one. So we'll play the other lantern. Yeah, we'll play the other lantern. We'll play Aladdin out for one. Now we have two really good targets for removal. Hopefully they go after the Stitch and not the Aladdin. I think I've played against many Emerald Sapphire decks, so this should be interesting. And this gives support, okay. And Iago. Just a character that's reckless next turn. Interesting. So this is, it looks like some kind of emerald sapphire control. We haven't seen a lot of ramp out of it, which is interesting. Not common for a deck of that type. So we're gonna ink the Aladdin. Almost made a mistake there because we want to shift onto Aladdin. We're going to quest with Stitch, challenge Aurora, and pass. What do you got, Iago? Interesting. Not really a threat right now. Mother knows best. Okay. That's fine. Let's see. So we effectively have six. Could just do, yeah, that's what we'll do. Because that'll give us five. And then we'll hard play the Aladdin and quest against it to begin with Stitch. Now, to this guy, I get, but I mean, it doesn't really help him in that scenario. Yago won't be very helpful. It could shut down one a turn. He has to exert to do it, so it's basically a trade. Scepter is interesting, though, because it could let him challenge in for higher amounts. Mother knows best again. Interesting.
Yeah, without him actually killing it, it's not the best of ideas just to keep bouncing. You gotta find a find a way to solve it. Maybe take it in the face one turn and then and then swing back at it. Because Laden um, is only on your turn that you get this benefit. So it is a Gramatala. Drops a Hatter. Hatter is a threat. It's a lot of lore, but it's going to be destroyed with Dragon's Fire unless he has a Nether Mother Knows Best and ink that he doesn't have to play it. He probably won't quest here. Oh, he does. That is a big surprise. Hmm. So we'll get rid of the Hatter. Because we don't like three lore on board. It's one damage back, that's two damage back. thinking questing last turn with an Aladdin on board. You basically just know it's going to get taken away. This is not a threat to this situation. She will counter kill it, which is not a big fan for me. Um, see, now he didn't quest, so now he gets it. This I like. biggest of stitches that I am also a fan of. I am just going to quest with the Aladdin. And pass. He's already out of cards too. Ooh, you don't see you very often. He's got this whole support thing going in his deck. Interesting. Looks like it could be fun though. I just hope he doesn't concede. What you got? What are you doing? Me question? Because it's a bad idea. I, I mean, you could quest with mother. That's about the only one I would quest with. I don't know why he did that. Oh, he gives support to her and then got it. Understood. See, again, this is not a great idea because I could still swing in here. The Maui's. Okay, so let's start off with this. So here's the thing. We could challenge the Iago. That'll give us three damage counters, so we're just gonna do that. If I play the Maui, I can. Swing in here. Stitch can quest for two. Still have three Laura, but I'm gonna save this. So we're good. Without removal, this is kind of a scary board. And we'll be at 17 next turn, unless modified. There's the concession. Well, GG to our opponent. It was fun. All right, looks like we're going first. See what our hands looking like. Um, 
this early on, I do not want a sword. Or beer guest or Maui. We'll go ahead and confirm there. Alright. Hades Rapunzel. We will put Big Stitch into the Inkwell. Play out a sword, and we'll pass. It looks like we are going against. Amethyst. Okay then. We're going against Amethyst. Put a be our guest into the inkwell. And we'll play out the shield of virtue anyway. What are we playing, bud? Ruby, okay. Playing brooms. Put his befuddle back in his deck. We got a Maximus. We will ink Ariel. And we will play out Ariel. No songs, so it doesn't matter. We'll pass. So I would, being the fact that this deck is designed to hopefully compete with Amethyst Ruby, I'd really like to see how this goes. Magic Mirror early, we do not like that. Quest with this broom. Oh, the sword will definitely be more important in this game. Not a lot to do with the Rapunzel right now. And probably won't. So we'll go ahead and ink that. There's nothing to use Hades on. We could drop the sword out now. Drop sword out now. Could swing into broom. Yeah. We'll get that out of here now before he drops a Mickey. Thanks. It's an interesting Elsa to run. Don't normally see that. Rafiki takes out Ariel. Gotcha, gotcha. How do we want to do this? Aladdin, just in case. The funnel goes in there, that's good. Could have kicked the shield back up with that. Just to draw a card, quest up, yep, okay. Perfect. And that is exactly why he should not have quested with Rafiki. Oh, almost made a mistake there. Well, I guess it wouldn't have let me. So we're threatening early, which is good for us. They're getting quite low on the draw. Hopefully we'll get a Rapunzel next turn. There's the dragon fire. Never mind. Play out a 
turn and pass. Get a broom. was a tricky situation. Didn't know exactly how I wanted that to play out. Hello, some additional cards might be nice. my own Hades. Pro level moves. The card draw online for him is disappointing. We tried to prevent Mickey as much as possible. We both still have a lot of removal. I have little card draw, so it is definitely in his favor. Also, it's definitely going bye-bye with, with uh, Dragon's Fire. Oh, they both quest for two. Not the good for us. We can actually play out Aladdin as well. Aladdin doesn't take her down. If I had Maximus on board, that'd be more advantageous. But I think... Hmm. That is also an option. She quests for three. Hades can take out... Not a lot. Hades can take out room if we wanted to, but it will trade it. We have it's effectively seven. We have this here and this there. All right, so what we're debating right now is whether we want to Maui into Rapunzel, actually Maui into Mickey, then swing Hades into Broom. That'll prevent three lore or Ursula. Get Ursula next turn. Oh, well, she is a villain, so we could just pop her with sword. 
Yeah, let's just do that because I'm a dummy. He probably didn't even remember that was there or he's just trying to get rid of it now. Um, yeah, that definitely makes me want to go into the Maui. Maui into Mickey. I didn't have anything else to play with it. Glad he did that, because that lets us drop Aladdin next turn, which will probably end up getting board wiped, but... We are nickel and diming at this point. Oh wait, that actually won't let us do that. but we need to start threatening something, so. Just play regular. I'm gonna ink the shield. I already have one online. Now we'll go into broom. I do like the tech of swords and apples. She is not a princess, though. Somebody kept telling me. Maybe it's the big winner. Somebody kept saying that Elsa was a princess, but it might be the big Elsa. Okay, so we have Cauldron out. And a Tib, so we're just playing stuff out of his hands. I don't really see the appeal of this one right now. Hmm. Do I really want to play two of those? He is not questing for a reason. I'm assuming it's a Maui. So we'll just quest and then we will unquest and pass. I don't want to put too much on the board. Yep, it is a Maui. He can't exert. So he'll trade in there. Yep. Smash it with Maui. Double lantern. We'll drop another Aladdin. And we'll drop the stitch. And we'll pass. We do have ways to get him out of the discard pile too. There's the Ursula. This is getting to be a very complex game one. I think he does have the favor just because of the mirrors and the Ursula's cauldron. Neither one of us is board wiped. I don't even think he's dragon fired either. Or did he dragon fire the first Aladdin? I do not remember. I want the horse. I want to make the horse super cheap. I want to play the horse in bodyguard. And then I am going to quest with Stitch. Quest with a lap. Now he may remove that and then drop like another Maui. 
but we gotta be doing something, so. The other option was not play this. There's the dragon fire, so it doesn't matter. We're just gonna end up dragon fire Ursula next turn, I believe. Unless we get one of our board wipes finally. If I get a board wipe, you can't even play it. Eh. Fun facts. It really wants me to play this out. What is he at? Four, five, six, seven. Ooh, that's game win. Alright. Hmm. These are both ones. Neither one of these survives this, but horse can survive you. You can trade here. And we'll pass. At least I feel like we're giving him a run for the money. I mean, we're... I don't know if he missed any drops, but we're at least at eight. And there's been a lot of interactions back and forth. And this doesn't really scare me because we still have these. Okay, so we're at... Six, he's seven. So we can... Can still play lantern. We add another Aladdin. Sure. Let's see if he just dragon fires it again. just in response to it. Thanks, Befuddle, Maleficent. There's Dragon's Fire. Equestrus too. So we'll play a free Ariel. No songs, unfortunately. Quest for himself. Ready. I'll swing for no good reason. And we will pass. So we obviously have the better situation. He's used far more removal than we have. But he is really close on lore. So without card draw, he's probably going to have it. Because all he has to do is play something big that we can't remove. Because we don't have ways to exhaust. So we have to get something going here. Keep dropping Aladdins, apparently. Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. And if he's using resources on getting rid of Aladdins, it's probably for the best. He's still drawing cards, which means he... Oh no, he's not drawing cards. He's playing that. There's the be prepared. Yeah, 
unfortunately, it doesn't look like unless you have card draw, you can really play into Amethyst Ruby. I think he's only one. Oops. I don't think we're going to have anything with it, but we will play on. It's probably a closer game than he'd like to admit. So we have game on board. Be prepared is the only thing we have, I think. Well, if he quested him, we could... So either way, this has to stop being a problem. What else? Do I have anything else? Oh. Let's see if there's something that I forgot. Not exerted, so Maui won't do anything. Ariel singing won't help. Not exerted, not exerted, not exerted. It's exactly two. Whatever. It happens. Amethyst Ruby is a very good deck. And it's all because of be prepared. Being able to destroy without limitation is just very good. It's alright. We'll keep going. We'll keep finding a deck. I think if he didn't get all that card draw early on, it would have been a much different game. Um, getting Mir out on whatever it was, turn two or three, and getting a second one around five, and then like Ursula's Cauldron slight after, slightly after that um, was, was a lot. But GG to our opponent. We'll have to We'll have to take another look and see if there's anything we could change to make it better in that matchup. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, we're going second, guys. Let's take a look here. Get some high drops. Get some Maui out of here. Party of world in Hades for now. Ugh, I almost want a whole new hand. Not the best, but we'll see how it goes. I am excited to try Amber Ruby Control. Okay, we're playing against Amber with a, with a Dingle Hopper. So, let's see what that is. Maybe Princess is. No, Amber Steel. Okay, so we're two mid range control decks. Got it. Ink be our guest, um, and we will pass. Captain Hook can get his quest for one if he wants it. Oh, we got some high boys. All right. We're gonna drop the Maleficent in the inkwell, and then we will play Lantern. It'll be interesting to how, see how his control matches up versus our control. Body 
graveyard. Okay. So do we want to go the Aladdin? Or do we want to go... Hmm. I don't know what we want to do here. Uh, I think we're going to... That's kind of a waste. I think we're gonna drop Stitch in here. And because we can play out the Aladdin. Cannons. Oh, we might have. Oh, that's disappointing. I want to see if they'll swing into him. Let's go get the Aladdin back. Well, activate lantern. Five. I think we're going to play Maui. We'll send him into Hercules. And then we'll. Oops. And we'll drop a shield. And I do not like shifting tinks, so we will send Maximus into there. And we're doing all right. Yep. We're just trying to keep him down a little bit. He's playing a little bit more aggro than I normally would. Swords. Swing into with Captain. Clear the board. Don't fire the cannons. All right, we still got some time here. I think. Once again, we're going to hold on. So we'll put be our guest into Inkwell, and then let's take a look here. We're going to. I really want to get the Aladdin out. We have six. Let's do this. Look, it was four left. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, let's just get the Aladdin out. And we'll see where we're at. Yeah. I think we'll sing this. Or we'll, uh... And then we'll have him back. We'll give him the threat. We're getting into our part of the game. There's a lot of bodyguards. swing into him. I don't think so. Activate him again. And then he can swing into it if he wants. So he's running it for the card draw. Interesting. Right. So keeping him off, offline from being able to use a whole new world without giving us a pretty big benefit. Nice. We really like our Maximus in this deck. He's not really playing any threats, though. Try your cards. My plan is for next turn to have him play out his hand and then we will be prepared and see how that goes. If 
But I like this. I'm going to have to look into this. There's a fairly good amount of bodyguards. Most of them aren't the musketeers, but I completely forgot about that card. And I do love me some Maximus. Kind of a slower back and forth gameplay here. Maybe I should have only swung in once with. Ooh. Bye. Maybe I should have only swung in once with Aladdin. But I feel like he has enough direct damage that it, he could have just had it. talking much this game all right so far I'm I'm actually kind of a fan of this deck I like how much card draw it's getting Question is, so you're at two seven. We could swing in there, put four back on here, or he's currently a four. It needs to survive if we play it on there. Although we could just target one down for the dragon's fire because we'll have it. Okay, so first off, we quest here. A fat amount there. If we swing in here, which I think is the plan, because you quest for two, you quest for one. Your ability. Yeah. So we'll swing into Mickey there. We will play the Rapunzel, targeting Maleficent. Turn. 
make that three. I like that math. Play on Rapunzel. Target horse. Perfect. Got another goofy. Maleficent still got her usefulness. That's fine. We still have four Lord Generation. And there's the concession. I definitely think we would have still pulled that out, but decent game. I enjoyed playing against bodyguards. Thank you for watching Illumineers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to stay up to date on everything Lorcana. See you on the next one.